Hey guys, my name is Alyssa. Welcome to or back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I get these beautiful lived in beach waves. <laughs> So I've already brushed and put heat protectant and detangler and brushed out my hair. I know it doesn't look like it because my ends are already really fried. What I put in my hair is these two from IGK Hair's Good Behavior line. And they are honestly the holy grail for any blowout, literally any style with heat, even without heat. It honestly is amazing. It makes my hair so soft. Look. Love. So I'm just gonna start blow drying my hair. I'll come back when I'm done with a decent blowout and I'll show you the rest I'm back and once again debating on if I even want to curl my hair But for the purpose of this video, I will usually what I do is blow dry my hair after I put all of the products in it I use some sort of oil before I curl my hair. This one is silk infusion silk reconstructing complex That's really it paraben free a very small amount. My hair gets so greasy when I put oil in it. I don't know why, so I just try and like put it on my ends so that my ends don't get super dry from putting more heat on it. Even though both of those sprays that I used are both a heat protectant, especially the front bangs. I don't like to get them super greasy, but I like to just put whatever is on my palms on the front pieces because I feel like those are the most dry. After I put oil in my hair, I will split my hair down the middle, do them one side at a time. I don't know if that's harder to explain. No, you know what? I'll do it the way I usually do it. I split it into three sections, so I do a big bottom one clip this up. I usually start from below my ear because I don't like when the bottom layer of curl are too high to my ear. It makes my hair look very short. I just take this, bring it around once, and then I only leave it on for like not even a second. Seriously, not even a second. And I just keep doing that. Spin once, unwrap once, spin down, unwrap once, and then the rest I just pull through. I've seen other people, they usually leave like a bit straight, and I love the way that looks too, but for me, I don't do that. Plus my hair is curly, so I'm not gonna really straighten my hair all the way for that. And I know a lot of people do every other way. I do them all the same way. So again, I'll explain it. Turn it once, not even two seconds, wrap it around again. So there's really only two curls in the barrel at a time, and then the rest I will just pull right through. And you're left with this. So you take the clamp, clamp it below the ear, spin it away from your face, leaving only two curls in the barrel, unwrap one of them, spin it around again. So once again, you have two curls in the barrel, turn it around and keep going until you have like no hair and then you just pull it through. And you're left with curls that look like these. Do not brush them out. Whatever you do, do not brush them out until everything is done. So now after I do that, I put all these pieces to the back and I take down the next layer and I do the same. Not the same thing because I don't section it in layers this way. Now I just kind of cut this one down the middle and pin the first section up. Now I'm left with this big chunk and I do the same thing. Just split it into like four or five pieces. This one I bring a little bit to the ear because it's the second layer and it's also in the back. And I feel like the back needs a little bit more volume anyway. Two curls in the barrel at a time, undo. And the brush just pull through. And it does get a little hard sometimes. I do this hairstyle almost every single day and I still get my hair caught in the clamp. It's not that hard, but also at the same time, it sort of is. But you'll get the hang of it, I promise. So when I first started doing this, I used to use the wand all the time, but I find that the clamp is more helpful. I don't know, especially for this hairstyle. You get to like drag it down and pull it down more, rather than when you do the wand, I feel like it's more bouncy curls. Hold for two seconds, unwrap one curl, spin it around again as you lightly let go of the clamp. I should have explained that too. I tap it a couple times so that my hair doesn't fall out because I know sometimes your hair, when it's super thin or super soft, it falls right out of the iron. And that can also be very irritating. And sometimes whatever pieces you feel like this one isn't really that good, or it's not high enough, I should say, I just, Recurl it again. It's not a big deal to recurl it again. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be a lived-in look. There's also another reason why I think so many people love the peach waves. It's very easy and it's quick. It doesn't have to be perfect. You could just zhuzh it up after with some texture spray and that's it. Okay, so now for the top layer, I do... Hold on, where's my ear? So like my ear comes right here. 
basically. So I'll start the curl from like a little bit above that for a little bit more volume. Sometimes it's harder to curl with the clamp on yourself than it is to do with somebody else. For me, when I first started to do this hairstyle, it used to be really hard. But the more and more you do it, it's also a lot easier to do on somebody else. So if you want to practice, I feel like maybe you should try like your mom, sister, cousin, or a friend. Practice that way. Because sometimes it's a lot harder to curl with the clamp. Like, look, I'm getting caught up here. And another thing, always keep the barrel straight up. Now for my front pieces, I like them to come in like this. So I'll take the same exact way, clamp them, but I'll pull them forward this way and curl them in the middle of my face rather than framing my face. And now it does that. Very cute. So now really quickly, I'm just gonna curl the rest of it and hopefully you can understand a little bit better as you watch without me trying to complicatedly explain this to you because I don't know why this just seems like I'm not doing a good job at explaining it. I don't know, hopefully you understand what I'm really trying. <laughs> so three sections. What it is or what it ain't Whatever it is, it got me thinking About the past and the future with you What we might or might not end up doing Take you to the grave, you know your secrets are safe with me Call me anytime, you know I'll answer on the first ring I ain't ashamed to admit I love you more than you love me and I, man, fuck it, what's love anyways? It's a solid thing, yeah Take you to the grave, you know your secrets are safe with me yeah. Call me anytime, you know I'll answer on the first ring Just don't stop calling me Stop calling me, yeah I cannot pretend like I want this to end oh, no. Over my head for love, I do it all again Hold up, wait But what's love anyways? If we mess up, then that's okay I cannot pretend like I want this to end Love you, but I no, wish I could have loved you as a friend Hold up, wait But what's love anyways? If we mess up, then that's okay Promises, yeah, broken promises. And that's it. And sometimes I don't like the front pieces, so like I will recurl them. But right now these are kind of okay, and I don't mind them. You can also spray them with hairspray or texture spray before you brush them out. But I don't have any texture spray. I do have brushable hairspray, but I really don't want to put that in my hair. I really just washed it. I would just wait till the curls cool before you brush them out because you obviously don't want your hair to fall out. I'll show you guys the back. I used to use the Revlon blowout brush and now I switched to the Hot Tools one. It's so much better because you could take off the heads, switch them to new ones if the bristles break. It's also so much easier for traveling instead of bringing the big thing that's like literally as big as this. Most people who do their beach waves, they use, I think it's an inch and a half the size of the barrel, but this one is, so it's smaller. Not by much, but it's better. For me personally, I like it better. I'm just gonna run my fingers through everything. Nobody likes a clumped up curl. And there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next Friday.